Live from the heart of Western Massachusetts, this is Western Mass News 11 at 11. Across the region, I'm Western Mass News reporter James Villalobos. Note the details coming up in a live report. And showers still pushing through the region this evening, but it looks like drier air headed our way to close out the weekend. The latest in my first warning forecast. And later, one person is dead, another hurt after a shooting in Springfield this morning. We begin with breaking news tonight. Severe weather hit the area, lightning even sparking fire, causing enough damage in Longmeadow to have town officials asking whether or not there was a tornado. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sarah Gernelli. Tonight, we have team coverage. Meteorologist Don Maher standing by in the Weather Center. But first, Western Mass News reporter James Villalobos joins us live in Longmeadow with the details. James? Well, Sarah, the interesting part about this is that a lot of the damage is in one section of Long Meadow. For example, you can see this tree behind me. You can see how that branch did come down, and that's something that we're seeing a lot of in this neighborhood. I know that just driving around, like I said, I've been trying to see where a lot of this damage has taken place, and there's a lot of branches on the street. You can hear that thumping on my tires, which is actually very common out here. And we did reach out to the National Weather Service, and they tell us that they believe that what happened this evening may have been a wet microburst. And it was definitely some scary moments for some residents in town. I spoke with one man off camera who said his whole house was shaking earlier this evening. And we're showing you some video of the damage that I got just a few minutes ago. Town manager Stephen Crane tells Western Mass News that at about 5 o'clock, a significant weather event, which appeared to be a tornado, led to power outages and significant damage to houses and cars. The majority of the damage has been in a neighborhood near Long Meadow Street, not too far away from Bay Path University, and that's just to put the location into perspective. Eversource immediately responded, and from what I saw, they are still on scene at some of these streets. The town did reach out to the National Weather Service to request that they send a team here to Long Meadow to evaluate the area. But not too far away in Southwick, there was damage as well. But there, it was a lightning strike which destroyed a barn. Thick smoke billows into the air on Sheep Pasture Road in Southwick Saturday. Firefighters battling a massive barn fire. Fire Chief Russ Anderson tells Western Mass News that it started just before 5 o'clock when someone was driving by and saw the lightning strike and called in to report it. Firefighters took about four minutes to respond with all of their resources. Uh, upon arrival, the barn was fully involved, and our concern became the second barn and the house that's across the street, and uh, both of those items were saved. The heat from the flames becoming so hot at times that it melted the siding off the house across the street. The firefighters say they had an additional struggle while attempting to put out the fire. So right now our biggest concern is the propane tanks that, are, that were in the barn, and we're cooling those and hoping the gas resides. Chief Anderson says that this fire should serve as a reminder of the threat that severe weather can pose. Well, you know, anytime there's a lightning in the area, this can be a concern. Um, we had another house that we believe got struck but didn't. Um, so uh, this is a real reality when storms like these come through and we, we have to be you know, prepared. Now, thankfully, in the case of the fire and the storm here in Longmeadow, there are no injuries. Be sure to stick with Western Mass News for all the latest on the severe weather. I'm live in Longmeadow, James Villalobos, Western Mass News.